It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Steel City at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Set to go now on a beautiful, sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Pittsburgh. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Start the drive with Harris. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. It's a jet sweep. Trubisky pops it forward. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Now it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and ten. It's Trubisky again. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third down, Trubisky. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 34-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And some room to work. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. It's a jet sweep. Trubisky pops it forward. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. Calvin Austin from four yards out. And the Steelers will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Boswell good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Kick it away after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Maybe that extra, you know, that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards.
Fournette once more on second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Brady looking to throw on third and two. Getting it out wide here to Bernard. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago, so a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down. Wait, Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Here's Brady to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Alex Highsmith making a nice play and getting the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Throwing on second and long. Brady on the screen, Bernard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and very long. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very low. Now Brady. Bearing this one out for Evans. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here against CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. A good gain on first, has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll run again with Harris. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. It's a jet sweep. Trubisky pops it forward. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They hand this 
this off to Harris. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Trubisky will throw. It's brought in by Harris. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now it's Trubisky. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run with Harris. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. This time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a jet sweep. Trubisky pops it forward. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. Calvin Austin with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Kick it away after the touchdown. And not much on this one. Takes it to the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first and 10, here's Brady. Open man is Jalen Darden. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. down Brady looking left sideline it's complete and in for the Buccaneers touchdown Russell Gage 29 yards and the Bucs get a late score here the final minute of the first half extra point up and good by Suckham and that'll make our score of 14 to 7 field and they will send this one away 
Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. Play action. It's Trubisky. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet, so they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them hovering up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. This is caught by Evans. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. on first down is Brady. He drops it off for Bernard. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles where he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. is Brady on third down. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Kyle Rudolph in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bucs have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point put through by Sucker. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. Oh, good looking return set up here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. play of the half. It's Trubisky. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. 
That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. A short kick taken at the 18. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And he's got some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady now on first down. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Alex Highsmith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Throwing now is Brady. Evans has it left side. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. From the 30 on second down, Brady. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Extra point now by Boswell. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields this way up at the 17. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They begin with a run by Fournette, and he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On second and 11 now, Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Two yards the loss and now third and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can
can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Well, the terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Play action, now it's Brady. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. And that will force a turnover on downs. On the give, this is Harris. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, 38 yards. And the Steelers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. It's a jet sweep. Trubisky pops it forward. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Brady now on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six. Ball Steeler touchdown. And this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only have they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes, oh yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And not much on this one, takes it from the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Yeah. 
Here's Brady. Completes it again to Gage. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. to throw it's Brady pressure comes and the Steelers take him down it'll be a loss of 10 and it'll bring up second another try after the first down sack Brady flushed out right and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete the Bucks on third down they've converted three out of five thus far this will be third and a mile themselves another first down as the tackles made at the Steelers 18. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. to throw and that went too far in front he couldn't reel it in it's incomplete that's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late not in a lopsided game like this they are not letting up again it's Brady and he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Russell Gage with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Buccaneers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables. And in this case, they didn't get it done. Oh, Trubisky going to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he rifles one incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting the game. On third down, Trubisky. Maybe the turning point they need. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Bucs are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them.
So after the INT, it's Brady. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. On first and ten, here's Brady. There's Evans again, complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. On first down, Brady. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. A solid stiff arm. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Buccaneers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance and what, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory.